Oh, did you guys see I posted that July 4th Declaration of Independence thing? I lost 100 view, uh, subscribers since I posted that. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't no, watch I had to watch it, but I remember you saying you were doing it. <laughs> yeah, the first comment was, oh, I'm so glad you posted this. Now I know that I'm subscribed to a right-wing conservative lunatic. I'm glad your channel's <laughs> dying. And then I... Hey guys, it's Evan Rogers back with a new live online lesson in Japanese. We're on lesson uh, six, but this is going to be episode, like, number, I don't know, 40 or something like that. Uh, we're here with Kayla and John. Uh, if you want to join, it's only five bucks a month on uh, Patreon. And uh, we also have some cool shirts. If you want to check that out, link in the description. You guys ready to go? I'm ready to go, John. All right. <laughs> hey, thanks. That was great. All right. Uh, number three, we're learning about e adjectives, and uh, we're, we're doing something. That. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna use that. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. <laughs> that's gonna be exactly what happens. All right. Number one, please repeat after me. Totomo omoshiroi desu yo. Totomo omoshiroi desu yo. Totomo omoshiroi desu yo. Shimasen ka? Shimasen ka? Shimasen ka? Yeah. So we have a negative verb with a question, uh, which is something like, won't you do it? Won't you play it? Won't you do it? Whatever it might be. Totomo very omoshiroi without looking. Anybody know what it means? It's literally right there. Interesting. Yeah, interesting, fun, something like that. So totomo omoshiroi, you know, it's really fun. Won't you play it or do it or whatever the heck it is we're talking about? So the person responds with, Idesuka. いいですかいいですかありがとうございますありがとうございますあ、はいこれどこに行くのこれどこに行くのこれどこに行くのこれどこに行くのこれどこに行くのこれどこに行くのこれどこに行くのこれどこに行くのこれどこに行くのこれど
like uh, drink not uh drink like yeah 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 to drink yes exactly exactly to drink yeah <laughs> not like <Okay>. a <laughs> yeah like to drink yeah Gatorade. <laughs> i wonder if kids today get that reference um all right so john uh whatever it is you're trying to get her to drink something sweet and you're interested so you're like is that all right and uh, so i just say e e desk right yeah, yeah e desk and, and then thank you yeah oh, okay got it all right uh totemo my desk yo nomimasen ka e desk ka arigato gozaimasu yeah great totemo my desu yo nomimasen ka Great, yeah, great, perfect. All right, next we have Karai and Tabemasa and Kayla. So, That's John, spicy. You... Hmm? <laughs> what'd you say? That's spicy. It is spicy, exactly. It is spicy. Uh, so, <laughs> Kayla, you'll be, or no, John, you'll be saying Daijobu or this time. Okay. What does Tabemasa mean? Eat. Yeah, great, great. Go for it, Kayla. You're up. Yeah, great. Yeah, it's it's really spicy. Won't you try some? Won't you have some? Oh, is, is it all right? Oh, thank you very much. All right, this time, John, you are informing us that something is chikai and that we should ikimasu there. And Kayla, you're very happy to go and you're wondering if it's all right. So we're going to be using daijobu this time. All right. Uh, totemo. Chikai desu yo. Great. Ikimasen ka? Yeah, ikimasen ka. Great. And where's Daijobu desu ka? Arigato gozaimasu. John, I know. Exactly, yeah. Chikai ikimasen. What are these, what are the, What does this E adjective and this verb mean? Near. And uh, like. To go? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's it's nearby. <laughs> Won't you go? Oh, yeah, sure. Thanks. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right, let's switch back to Ideska on the B side. So, John, you'll be doing Ideska. And we have Omoshiroi Yomimas. Kayla or John, what does Omoshiroi or Yomimas mean? Omoshiroi. Oh. Uh, oh, interesting and read. Yeah, exactly. We actually had it up here as the first one. Omoshiroi does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kayla, go ahead and ask if he would like to read it because it's interesting. And John, be like, "Oh, you just call? Oh, okay. Let me see if I can remember this. Totemo omoshiroi desu yo. Yomimasen desu ka? There'd be no desk. The desk is a distal yo, marker, and the oh, mas already has it. Oh, That's what yeah. it was. Okay, yeah, you that is. One more time, Kaylee. You got it. You got it. Totemo omoshiroi desu yo. Yomimasen ka? Yeah, great. All right. We're going to say, uh, Ides ka? Uh, uh, arigato gozaimasu. Yeah, 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 great. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, great. All right, now we're going to switch. John, it is Jozu and Tsukurimasen. So um, this might not be that the thing is Jozu. This would be, well, first, let's translate these words. Uh, and by the way, Kaylee, you'll be doing Ideska again. What does Jozu and Tsukurimas mean? Jozu is like good, good at something. Exactly. So the thing that we're going to be making would not be good at something, would it? So this is more like you're good at it, won't you? Skurimasa. What does skurimasa mean? Make or use? Yeah, uh, it'd be make. Be careful because okay. use is skaimas. Skaimas is skurimasa. Okay. Everyone gets those two confused. <laughs> Don't feel bad. So this this sentence is going to translate a little bit differently than the than the other ones. I will enunciate properly. You're really good at it. Won't you make it? Then. The other person's being modest, perhaps. Oh, really? Oh, thanks. Or maybe this is a teacher trying to encourage a student. They're like, really? Me? You want me to operate on the patient? All right. Uh, I believe it's John asking and Kayla saying, eat us, girl. Totemo yuzu desyo su kurimasen ka. <laughs> yes, let's do it with a little bit more uh, flow. Totemo Jozu desu yo. 
Scream us in, ka? Ultimo Gulzo Desio. Scream us in, ka? Yeah, great. E Desca. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Yeah, great. And Kayla, you'll be doing these ones. Chisai and Tabemasen. Uh, small and to eat. Yeah, <laughs> small and to eat. Um, exactly, be, great. Yeah. <laughs> John, totemo chisai desu yo, tabemasen ka? Yeah. Uh, daijobu desu ka? Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Yeah, great. Uh, it's really small. Go ahead. Won't you eat it? Maybe uh, John was watching his diet. Uh, so it does. Uh, Did, do you guys know Monty Python? I do. Remember the episode where the big fat guy's eating and he's tr- and then John Cleese is trying to get him to eat the after dinner mint? Yes. Oh, it's just so cheesy. <laughs> oh, tabemasu. And then the dude explodes all over the place. Yes. That was one of the funniest bits because the guy was so horrifically rude. All right. Any questions with this? Nope. All right. Uh, I don't want to do the actual um, drill here. We're just going to read the first one, and then I'm going to explain the the grammar, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So this one's going to be each person has two lines. Uh, Repeat after me. Nani o kaimashita ka? Nani o kaimashita ka? Nani o kaimashita ka? Yeah, kaimashita by or bot. Remember the mashita is past tense. Nani, what? So, what did you buy? Nani? Nani? <laughs> Omae wa Nani wo kaimashita ka? Pancake desu. Pancake desu. Yeah, uh, you are already dead. What What did you buy? Pancakes. And the dude explodes. Uh, all right, pancakes. I hope everyone gets that joke. If not, um, that's really confusing for anyone trying to learn on YouTube. All right. Oishikata desu ka? Oishikata desu ka? Oishikata desu ka? Yeah, great. So we have oish, oishii turned into oishikata desu ka? And then, so that was like, was it good? Were they good? Eh, oishikata desu. Eh, oishikata desu. Yeah, oishikata desu. <laughs> exactly. Eh, oishikata desu. Yeah. All right, so we are now making e adjectives past tense. Uh, imagine saying that to an English speaker. Hey. How do you make the word good past tense? And you're like, I don't know, was good. Uh, (laughs) But this is interesting because the actual word itself becomes past tense. Uh, Past complete tense, E adjectives. We drop the final E sound. So oishi, E, taka, E, mazu, E, all of those words end in an E sound. We drop that and then replace it with kata. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. And if we want to keep it uh, polite distal, we just add des. So we add des to the end of the adjective. Uh, if the adjective ends a sentence, if, yeah, if it ends a sentence and we want it to be distal polite. Uh, notice we haven't learned how to make e adjectives n- negative yet. That'll be next lesson. We'll just leave that area blank, okay? So we're going to call this the root. When you chop off the e, we're going to call that the root. I should have explained that in this lesson, uh, but I, I'm I'm good. I forgot to add it in here. So I'm going to explain in the next one. Basically, you chop off the E. That's called the root. We're not making it negative. This one's non-pass, so we're adding the E. Oishi E, keeping it uh, distal with des. However, if we want to make it past tense, we go oishi kata des. Okay? Mm-hmm. So we either make it non-pass or we make it past. Make sense? E and kata. That's it. Oishi, oishikata, takakata, mijikakata. Or I guess this is mijikai, but it would be mijikakata. So notice that that'd be a kaka. Hi <laughs> kaka. All right. <laughs> Compare e adjective agglutination charts to verb agglutination charts. Just for fun, I wanted to throw this in there. Uh, the order of markers is different, right? So we have the stem is blue, like the root is blue. And then we have the negative marker would be um, the third thing in verbs, but it's the second thing in uh, E adjectives. Distal comes actually right after the stem, whereas uh, it's the last thing in E adjectives. And the past tense is the last for verbs, and it's the pa- it's the second to last, or it's kind of like in the middle for E adjectives. Just, just so you're probably not thinking like this, but if you choose to think like this, the pattern of past tense and all that sort of stuff, all these markers are in different orders, okay? John's like, why is he telling us this? No one's caring. I need you to go back and listen to that. That was like the <laughs> longest explanation. <laughs> like, 
like, dear Lord, are you okay? I'm okay. Did it make sense? Am I having a stroke? I, I don't know. It, it's color-coded. Yeah, okay. What he's saying. okay yeah, if you follow the colors, you'll see that verbs agglutinate differently than e-adjectives, okay? <laughs> That's just such a long explanation. Yeah, great. I was just showing you the order, but yeah, they're color-coded. I find it weird that you said just for fun. That doesn't seem fun. <laughs> I was the idiotic kid who loved geometry class. I yeah, was, I was like, the, oh, man, yeah. I get to do proofs. Those are my favorite. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, uh, when we drop the final E, we're calling it the root, like I mentioned above. Okay, so all that I'm saying is that uh, the order for verbs and E adjectives are different. So if you want to think about it in, like, oh, where do I put the markers? Instead of just memorizing, like, Miji Kakata and stuff like that, it's easier to memorize it. But if you want to think about it this way, they're in different orders, so be careful. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, great. And that, that's the end of that. Okay, that's how we do past tense E adjectives. Great. And uh, yep. we'll call it there. We'll we'll jump into lesson four, or sorry, drill four uh, next lesson on Monday, okay? Sounds good. All right, see you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you like, subscribe, and share this video to everybody you know and yell at them repeatedly until they subscribe as well. If you'd like to support me even more, head on over to Patreon.com where for just $1 a month, 3 cents a day, that's it, it's darn near free, you can help me financially keep these videos coming. And as a reward for your Patreon donations, you get access to all of the miscellaneous things that I produce to help out my own students where, who I teach in person and also just things that I make for myself. And if you want a little bit more bang for your buck, head on over to Teespring where you can get lots of fun clothing, mugs, stickers, cell phone cases, all that I've designed. More designs to come. I hope you have yourself a happy, happy day. Peace out.